Howdy. So, um, obviously, people have been looking at the offense and just how Tyreek Hill, I know you guys have done a nice job of kind of bringing everyone together and, and putting them to go. Have you, this point of the season, have you kind of put your finger on exactly why you guys have been able to kind of do it without a receiver like that in your room? Yeah, all the guys have stepped up. Um, whether it's a specific thing, I, I don't know if there's a specific reason I can give you, but we asked all the guys that were coming in, because uh, there was a number of departures, not just Tyreek, uh, to basically get all caught up and sped up to where we were today and so that we could just keep going as an offense. And the guys that we brought in bought into that. Smart guys, great players, but the mental part and the task at hand for them to get to where we are was huge. And they've just kept on progressing each and every week with kind of where we've been and where we're going. And that's allowed, I think, uh, our quarterback and all the other skill positions to just keep on kind of rolling where we left off. Um, but when we had Tyreek and D-Rob and Pringle and some of the other guys that have been mainstays for a while. When you have veterans, you kind of expect them to be able to do that. It looks like Sky, as a rookie, has made a pretty good leap the last month or so. Have you, have you seen that in the practical meetings that's paying off on the, on the field? Yeah, I think that's accurate. He has adopted that approach where he's just got to learn everything just like the veteran guys. They've showed him um, a great model of behavior in the classroom and then on the practice field. And then he's gone out and made plays um, when he's been given the opportunity. The best thing he does is he comes in each week, and whether we've run the play one time or 100 on the practice field, he treats it as the, that most important rep, goes through the mental uh, different variations of the coverages and comes over and tries to ask questions, which is a veteran type of move because on Sunday you could, you could see any look. He's obviously had problems on special teams, right, with a couple of the punts. You, had, uh, you didn't seem to need you know, a pep talk. Uh, the way he played uh, as a receiver, but has there been times during the year you've had to pull him aside, or maybe some of the veteran guys have had to kind of talk to him in there to, you know, maybe not let him get down on himself? Yeah, I think, I mean, the guys pull him, pull him along and help encourage him. Uh, I just focus with him on the offense and what he's doing as a receiver. I know the special team stuff, it obviously can affect him, but when when we get isolated in the in the offensive and the wide receiver mentality, it's just all right. Here's what we got to accomplish either this week or this play or this series, and we're going to need you and we're counting on you. You can make the plays. Let's go. Like Todd said, the numbers statistically have been better of late, but early on, you know, he was kind of a forgotten guy. Was I guess the question is, was that creeping in when he had the two drops earlier? Was that affecting him as a receiver early in the season? No, I think early on. Uh, we were introducing him to the offense and he had packages and he was kind of more or less um, tagged on specific plays where that mentality where you're kind of in and out uh, based on specific plays is kind of like an assassin mentality where you're just in and out and you got to be perfect. At this point in the season with some of the injuries and just where we are, he is more in the flow of, hey, you just got to play receiver in this offense, whether it's one specific spot or anywhere on the field. We need you. You got to go in and make the plays. And that kind of just frees him up to play football. And that's what he's good at, as opposed to thinking about, hey, this is my one play that worked all week on this specific look. I got to be perfect. Now he's just, hey, I know what I'm doing. I'm confident in my assignment. Now I can just go play. Don't, don't ask me, you know, what, what trade secrets or anything, but um, a lot of teams run motion, but you guys tend to throw a lot to a guy that goes in motion. I guess what benefits, if any, are there to get a guy moving before the snap and then maybe help him? Yeah, sometimes based on uh, a number of different, you know, defensive factors or whatever it may be, sometimes the momentum can help. Uh, whether you're just moving one way or the other to get uh, momentum going down the field or to get the defender moving his feet a little bit and then the ball snapping going. Um, I think there, if you have the ability and the language in your offense to move people around pre-snap, to utilize it uh, doesn't hurt as long as the guys are – uh, in tuned and aware of how to do it. And so we try to use that uh, on as many plays as we can. Joe, did you learn anything or things about Kadarius Tony in the short time you had him before he was injured? Um, yeah, I, I mean, he can handle a lot mentally and then go out and perform. Uh, I was pleased with uh, his approach during the week, and we kind of built you know, a, a segment of the game plan for him early on and then kind of just gave him almost everything. Uh, the next week when uh, he ended up getting hurt. But he was operating full speed, uh, knowing his assignments. He tackles uh, any 
um, any assignment with full gusto. I mean, he, he, whether it be on the field or in the classroom, uh, he is willing to play. He wants to play. When he gets healthy, he'll be back out there. But he, his approach is um, you can't overload him, is what, I've, is what I've learned this so far. Coach, I know there's, a lot, there's a lot of talk about Valdez Scantling that maybe he can do more than what he has done in Green Bay, that he's not just a go route runner. And, you know, wh where do you think he is as far as being able to handle everything? And, you know, has it, is it, is it met your expectations, fallen short, exceeded? Where, where, where is he sitting? No, I think, I think you're right. Quez can do everything. He's a, he's a well rounded receiver. Uh, we ask him to do a lot of the vertical routes with a number of the complementary skilled players that we have. Uh, he's got hidden yardage out there that maybe the ball hasn't found him, but he was running routes, uh, not just vertical routes, where he was open or uh, he could have got some yardage. So I think the timing and just uh, the, the situation of the ball finding him, he will start to um, accumulate the stats that maybe his route running and his play has shown on film that is, is capable out there. But yeah, he can do everything. We have him on a lot of the vertical routes because he's really good at that too, but he can do them all. Okay, thanks everyone. Thanks. Thank you.